Hello friends, this is Dipali Dung from DKT's Textile Engineering Institute and this video is presenting the information about opportunities in electronics engineering and electronics and telecommunication engineering. Let us first get acquainted with what are these engineering branches. These engineering branches are associated with study of electric circuits and components that involves creating, designing and testing of the system to achieve the desired functionality. It also includes study of broadcast of information with the development and management of satellites, optic fibers, antennas, radio waves and various networks. Broadly, these branches of engineering are an interface of chip level hardware and processing of the information. Electronics and ETC engineering are extremely vast and offers many domains wherein students can take up specialization. These specialization fields include VLSI and embedded system, communication and signal processing, robotics and automation, artificial intelligence and data science. These domains offer wide range of career opportunities to the graduates. Here are listed some emerging areas that represents the progressive innovations in the field of electronics and ETC engineering. The first emerging field is the wireless communication system. 5G has drastically upgraded the communication system, but 6G is anticipated to be 100 times faster. Research in 6G demands involvement of many engineering graduates in the years to come. Fiber optic broadband is becoming the mainstream of data transmission to ensure future consistency with faster data. Design and development of hardware and software for streaming high quality of information requires technical assistance of electronics and ETC engineers. Engineers are stepping up as leaders to transform cities into smart cities that are digitally interconnected using infrastructure of Internet of Things. Internet of Things is growing at a fast pace and electronics hardware is the vital heart of it. IoT technology therefore opens wide scope of opportunities for these engineers. 3D biometrics is an emerging area in the field of biometric application that offers scope to researchers for enhancing the biometric systems. Nanoelectromechanical system form the next logical miniaturization step that integrates electrical and mechanical system at nanoscale. The research work in this area is shifting from experimental work to practical application and hence is in demand of large research engineers. With these examples, we clearly understand that rapid expansion of new technology is revealing many opportunity pathways for the graduates to take up exciting career. Government has taken up several initiatives to promote electronics manufacturing. This is witnessed with the exponential growth in electronic system design and manufacturing sector in India. To make India a global hub for electronics manufacturing, many new schemes for its promotion are introduced. These schemes will attract new investments in the electronics manufacturing, resulting in opening new dimension of electronic employment. India is quickly emerging as a center for innovating startups in the semiconductor arena. The scheme for promotion of manufacturing of electronic components and semiconductors aims to strengthen the manufacturing ecosystem. This scheme will assist to meet domestic demand, increase value addition, and promote employment opportunities for electronics and ETC engineers. Increasing demands for mobile phones, smart television sets, computers, digital cameras, air conditioners, and defense-related electronics has led to high production in Indian electronics market. This demand of consumer sector has fostered the requirement of hardware engineers. This scenario of Indian consumer market 
clearly has direct impact on projected human resource requirement. Large human resource requirement is estimated in different sectors of electronics such as electronics hardware industry, consumer electronics, industrial electronics, telecommunication industry and electronic components. Electronics and ETC engineers can have various opportunities in central government, state government and in public enterprises and private organizations like All India Radio, Indian Telephone Industries, MTNL, National Physics Laboratories, Civil Aviation Department, Post and Telegraph Department. Also, electronics and ETC engineers can join as design and research engineers in research organizations like ISRO and DRDO. Engineers can also provide rear line engineering supports to the armed forces. For decades, engineers have been dominating UPSC exams. The effective use of sound understanding of math, logical reasoning and analytical skills helps them to excel in UPSC exams. IES comprises of engineers who are designated as class 1 government officers. Engineers within age limit of 21 to 30 years can appear for IES exam conducted by UPSC every year. The selected bureaucrats of electronics and telecommunication engineering branch can administer a large segment of public sector economy which constitutes Indian Railways, Power, Telecommunication and Central Engineering Services. Government offers innumerable schemes to encourage budding entrepreneurs. These initiatives include Digital India, Electronics India, Startup India, Soft Loan and many more. The startup culture has taken momentum and many engineers have started their own business further enhancing the job opportunities. Here are some reputed hardware firms that recruit electronics and ETC engineers. National Instruments, Johnson Control, Arm, Rishabh Instruments are the core embedded system industries. In the field of ELSI are Intel, Texas Instruments, Synapses, Siemens, Mitsubishi Electric, Allen Bradley are major companies in PLC. NXP, Freescale Semiconductor, Qualcomm, some major recruiting industries in the area of semiconductor. Along with hardware domain, electronics and ETC engineers also play a cutting edge role in the software domain. As the syllabus includes the programming languages like C, C++, along with high level programming language like Python, many software companies majorly prefer to recruit electronics and ETC engineers. As an end note of this presentation, there is a famous saying of Einstein, we can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. Therefore, the electronics and ETC engineers will continue to design, create and sustain cutting-edge technology to stay ahead in the competition.